What's up everybody, this is Logan Brown Boxing. Today what I'm gonna do for you is I'm gonna actually do a different kind of video. I'm gonna start to share a little bit more of my journey and how I'm going with my training and the things that I'm learning every single week, right? And so today what we're gonna do is I've got some footage um, of a training session that I did back in November. So we're just gonna go over that. I'm gonna tell you about the things that I'm trying to work on. All right, so let's just jump straight into the video. All right, so this was back in November and um, what I was really working on in this in this video is I was just trying to work on reacting to seeing punches coming. So that's what we're doing here. That's what the focus is. That was nice. Not fainting a lot, but um, I'm, I'm biting on a couple. Ooh, see that move? So this is, in this situation, I wasn't trying to, see how I just kind of stepped in and I closed the distance in, in one move? I wasn't necessarily trying to. That was kind of an automatic reaction of what happened. And I can break it down because what actually happened was, I, I got an angle on him, see? He's, he's moving to his right right now, which is where I'm actually trying to push him. Then as he moves to his left, I move to my right at the same time. And we end up in this position right here where this distance has actually closed. We're not at the same distance we were before. And when he steps in to take that punch, I'm just gonna do a little drop slip and then push off that back leg to put my left foot um, right around where his back foot is, his right foot. Okay, so check this out. Boom. And all of a sudden I'm inside. And look, right there for the counter shot or right here for the counter shot. Boom, boom. Now I'm not, this training, this is not what I'm trying to do in this training. I'm really just trying to train my reflexes. I'm not thinking too much about what I'm doing. I'm trying to automatically move my head, right? I'll notice this, slip left, slip right. Not always moving the same way. See, slip to the right that time when the jab came. Slip to the right that time again, step in slip to the right again okay so now I'm getting a bit predictable there we go finally slip left you got to mix this up otherwise if 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 a, if you if your guy's jabbing at you right and you keep on going this way you keep putting your head right here when he jabs he's gonna click onto it and he's gonna just start jabbing like this boom so you got to be mixing it up you got to be going left and right I like to favor my slipping to the right and I'll tell you why Let's go back and let's watch all of those. So you'll notice that as I take a step with my left foot, right? And, and I'm, my weight is planted on my right foot. As I take a step with my left foot, it's easy and it's natural to slip to my right, right? I can do that without losing my balance and I can do it. It's, it's quite an automatic reaction. Uh, watch this step, I think it's right here. How do we go slow-mo? Just watch how I take a step and slip right here, right here. See that? So, this is one when we do later later videos when when I'm showing you guys um one one day when I'm working on counter punches, you'll see how I use that that step and slip um a lot, it's like especially when I'm jabbing and jabbing to the body. But um, thing is, you don't want to get predictable with that so you kind of got to mix it up all I'm really focusing on here is just trying to keep my balance trying to always be in a position to slip punches another thing that I'm trying to do also is to keep moving keep moving my feet one thing that I know you know I watch a lot of peekaboo content if you guys have posted content out there i've probably seen it on youtube i watch a lot because i try to learn everything um one thing that i see a lot of people do with peekaboo style is they kind of get stuck right in front of their opponent where they're focusing too much on dodging punches right but you don't want to be just a sitting target in front of your even no matter how good you are at dodging punches you don't want to just stand in front of your opponent you want to be able to to move you want to be able to set things up because with the peekaboo style is not just a dodging punches style. It's like you gotta fight. You gotta land punches to win the fight. You can't win a fight by dodging punches. And so 
I'm trying to dodge punches while moving my feet at the same time because that's how I set things up. Okay, so I'm trying to stay moving, trying to, um, trying to create angles. I'm trying to just, I'm not trying to create angles. I'm just trying to stay moving. One thing that Customato always used to talk about was not creating bad habits and Teddy Ellis still talks about this. And so I'm trying to create good habits. I don't want to get stuck with my feet planted just in front of my opponent where he can, where, where he's basically controlling me. You don't want to be just standing in the middle of the ring while your opponent is just moving around, keeping you where he wants you. You gotta keep him guessing. Okay, so we're, we're getting a little bit warmed up now. There's that step, step, in, step slip again. And it comes, watch, slip and step that in at the same time, boom. That's how I land. Can't wait to show you guys um, some content later on. That's how I land my body jab, you know, 95% of the time. Landing the body jab because I'm stepping in. My opponent, my opponent sees me coming in. They automatically throw the jab and I'm throwing the body jab at the same time, slipping down. There we go. Getting warmed up now. Same move as before. So caught me. I think I just didn't see that punch coming that time. You see that it's hooky did he tried to back back fist me boom boom i saw it coming <laughs> okay so um i've been like for the past year i've been doing a lot of um dodging slips right we got this slipping drill you guys might have seen the video uh where my brother gary who's holding the noodles for me right now he throws jabs and i just slip the punches so Slipping punches, I've already kind of had a little bit of practice with that, so I'm pretty decent at dodging slip, uh, at slipping jabs. Hooks, we haven't done a lot of. Um, since we started doing noodles, I'm, you know, getting a little bit better, so I'm not as good as seeing the hooks coming as I am as seeing the jabs coming. Um, but that's, that's the reason why I do this, right? The more reps that I get, the better I'm gonna get at it. That was a good step to the side there. Okay. See, this is basically right here. This is defensive. Um, this is defensive movement. I'm not letting him get to me. I'm not letting him set me up. I'm, gi I'm giving him angles so that, that he has to adjust to. Um, but also, I'm holding my ground. I'm not giving him the front foot. See, he's, he doesn't get to come forward. Although, if he's quite flat footed right now. See, he's quite flat-footed right now, and as me, as a peekaboo style fighter, that's what I want. I want my opponent to be flat-footed like that on the on the aggressive, right? Him standing there trying to throw punches at me. I'm making a miss so that I can counter him, and it's a lot easier to counter them when they're flat-footed like that. So that's something to look for when you're when you guys are inspiring or whatever. But here's my problem. See, right now. This is what I was talking about. See how he just unloaded on me right there, right? One, two, three, four. Look, he's, he's no effort of him at all. And he's mixing up his shots. The reason why this happened. Yeah, I dodged a lot of them. 
but right now he mixes up his shots for the first time in this whole video he throws a body shot and lands it why because i was standing in one spot like i was saying before i was standing right in front of him and just letting him unload never ever do this look he doesn't have to adjust to anything you just stand in one spot and just it's like hitting a boxing bag I just stopped there and I told him I was standing in spot one spot, don't let me do that. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos like this, so let me know what training you wanna see. I do, you know, I'll be posting slip bag videos, heavy bag, woolly bag, um, even the footwork training that I do for fitness, uh, which is, you know, th that's actually helped me a lot in my training. Um, we'll be doing more noodle videos where I'll be working on different things. Um, so I'm gonna be coming at you guys with a lot more content. I love it when you guys give me questions because that, that that helps me to create the content. I basically just create all my content based around the questions that you guys give me in the comments. So go ahead, leave me some questions, show me some love. I really appreciate you. Peace out.